Moving on to our last piece of news for the episode, apparently the star of Ultraman Gaia is quoted at the Ultraman Festival. Pretty sure this is the same one that I talked about last episode with Ultraman Leo and their cast. Uh, apparently he said, I would like to make more Gaia. So there we go. Confirmed it. Ultraman Gaia confirmed. Just don't, just, we'll just, end, just end the podcast right here. Just cut it off. Cut it off. No, no, but seriously, all jokes aside, um, I'm really happy to hear him say that because I haven't finished Gaia, but I really enjoyed what I saw. And I'm pretty sure it's legally available through Crunchyroll. If it is, definitely check it out through there. And if it's not available there, I think they're available through like the Toku HD service that Amazon has uh, with their Amazon video. So get it there if you can, because I'm pretty sure it is there if it's not on Crunchyroll. Either way, though, uh, I want to see if it is there. Uh, either one, if I can get a chance, I'll probably watch or try to do a Toku Station review here on this channel, uh, Teacher Production YouTube channel, if you don't know. Um, but either way, I, I think it's interesting that he was saying, he, so he's quoted directly as saying, I think it would be great if we could make a new one. I think uh, it's very, uh, translations are rough. I assume by new one he means a new special or something like that, maybe a new episode, a new, sh a new show would be nice. Uh, it's always nice to do like a new, you know, a new show for, for older Toku. If it's, I don't want to know if it should be a whole 50 episode, you know, series, but if they do like six episodes or 12 episodes, that'd be nice. A movie I think would be cool as well. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I didn't realize how popular Gaia was in Japan as well, but again, every, I assume every Ultraman or many Ultraman were available to specials. It's literally called the Ultraman Festival 2018, so and there was a series of, of, you know, different meet and greets and stuff like that. Uh, I should mention who was there, uh, by the way. So there was Takeshi Yoshioka, who played Gamu slash Ultraman Gaia. And then there was also, uh, from Kamen Rider Ryuki fame as well, uh, Hase Takano, who also played in, um, in Gaia. He played, uh, let's see, Hiroya Fujimi. No, sorry, Hi Hiroya Fujimiya. I got the name right eventually. And uh, also Ultraman Agul. And then Maria Teresa Go? Gao? Uh, and from Kamen Rider W as well, or Double as well, and Hiroyuki Watanabe, who's also from Garo, uh, who played Captain uh, Ishimuro as well as the chief script writer, Chiaki Konaka. So that's kind of funny that he says, the, the main actor for Gaia says, write to the chief script writer, I would like to do more of these. So that's, I don't know if he said it that way, but it's still... It's still nice and he said it regardless. And uh, during the event, this is the coolest part. I really wish I could see this in English some way. Uh, during the event, they did a special screening of the show's final episode, Earth is Ultraman Star. Uh, and so the reason why that was so cool, not just because it was voted in by fans as the most popular episode. There was like a preliminary questionnaire. So that's really nice. They also had live commentary. So I think that's sweet as well that they were able to give any insight that they could into writing and making the episode and how they felt and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, and also Watanabe mentioned that the show wasn't written just for children and that it dared to captivate adults in the audience as well. And I think that that's so, that's one of the things that's very interesting with different types of toku. You know, it's not just, uh, you know, all for kids and stuff like that. And I'm not going to try to get into, you know, obviously there are toku that are for kids, and I think that's okay. Uh, you know, more for a family dynamic, I would also argue. But still, there's some toku that are for kids, and that's okay, right? Nothing wrong with that. It's just really nice that there's, you know, when it comes to toku, it's just, it's giant branch. It's not just, oh, is this Garo, or is this, uh, you know, a certain season of Super Sentai? Depending, because some of them are more, you know, kid-friendly than others, I would say. Uh, you know, it's nice to have some stuff that's kind of in the middle, and if you want to, uh, you know, relive some of your Ultra Ultraman Gaia memories, and Ultraman Gaia is not available where I said it was, which it should be, but if it's not, you can actually watch it on Subodaya's official YouTube channel beginning September 5th, which means that by the time this clip comes out, it's already been on the channel, so go check it out there. Either way, uh, I just want to say thank you all so much for listening in to the entire podcast. If you've been liking these videos, please remember to like and subscribe. If you didn't like the videos, you can still like and subscribe either way. Thank you for tolerating the green screen. Not sure how this is going to look. Not sure if it's just going to be the green behind me or if it will be edited out. I'll find out in post, which will be a heck of a lot of fun. Either way, again, thank you all so much. Love you all. And tune in next time for another episode of Toku Station. But before you get one of those, we'll be getting a review of Kamen Rider G.O. Episode 2. Uh, potentially even Zoo Ranger as well. I'm trying to get back onto that watching bandwagon. All right, guys. So, why well, I say bandwagon that way? I don't know. What time is it? I'm tired. Either way, love you all. Take care and see ya.